This is my garage in the house I grew up in. I haven't lived here in 15 years. Uh, but in my 20s, I got this Bridgeport milling machine. And when I was a teenager, I got this lathe, this metal lathe. And the reason I'm here is I just picked up what's going to be my epoxy granite CNC mill. So I got this uh, aluminum extrusion that I found on eBay. And it was 14 feet long. And the guy cut it for me into three pieces so I can fit it into the car. Uh, one half inch wall thickness and it's six inches square. This will be the column and the base. Uh, this piece right now, the top piece is 60 inches long and I'll be able to cut it, get the column and base out of that single piece. So I could actually make two mills and have a leftover piece for something else. I just cleaned this section up with some 320 grit paper and oil. It cleaned up pretty nicely. Here's my Bridgeport mill. This machine is from uh, 1980. I looked up the serial number and it's got the various speed head. I haven't used this much because every job I've had, I always had access to a mill. Uh, it's sat for 20 years, uh, but it still works okay. And I oiled everything up. It's got a couple of rust spots I got to clean up, but it's not too bad. And then the lathe is an import lathe. I bought it new, I think around 1995 I got it. And I was doing uh, queue repairs on this for billiard cues. So what I'm gonna do is I would cut this to the length needed, which is about uh, 25 inches. And then I would take this over to the bridge port, put it on the table without the vise, and I'll have to figure out a way to fixture it because it is six inches wide, which is the width of this ruler. So it's gonna cover up the T-slots. Uh, so I'll only be able to grab it from the ends for the hole down. And then of course the vise wouldn't be there. And then I'll take the precision cuts needed on it to make the tracks that the linear ways would screw to. And then I can make all the mounting holes on this. So the travel on the X on this is uh, 27 inches, which is longer than I need for the, both the column and the base. If I do have any capacity issues, I can uh, tilt the ram on this and pull this out more. If I need to make this surface square to the axis, if you pretend this ruler is the column, I can have the column mounted out here so that the square part of the column is up here. Tilt the ram out to here, face the top of this, and use this to keep it square. I'll have to come up with some creative fixturing for that to, to hold everything on the T-slot. I was thinking of another way to hold the column to the bed uh, using a vise. Maybe I put another vise here, so I have a, a match set pair of vices, and then have the stock in between them. The only thing with that is this vise, I doubt I can find this exact duplicate. I bought this 20 years ago. Probably have to get two new vices. So that's going to be pretty expensive. Probably never use them again. It might be a waste of money. I just thought of something. I could put a fixture plate on the bed that has a bunch of holes in it. Use clamps to attach the extrusion to the fixture plate. And the fixture plate could be wider than the table. And I can get a piece of Mike 6 from eBay and use that as a fixture plate. So it'll be very flat. Uh, I'm in Pennsylvania now. This is my family home where that I grew up in when I was a kid. And I'm here for the Christmas vacation. I'm only going to be here uh, a few times during this year. So I'm going to have to plan everything out. And then the next trip I come up, hopefully the design of the mill will be finished. And I can figure out how to hold it on the bed and do any milling I need to do on the bridge port. Uh, my plan is to build the whole machine up here in Pennsylvania and maybe make some of the smaller CNC parts on the TAG, which is in Atlanta. I should be able to drive up and uh, take the machine back with me to Atlanta. It would only be about 20 some inches long if I break down the column and the base and they should fit in my car. Or another option is just to leave the machine up here after I finish it and use it when I come up here. Well, I just became overwhelmed thinking about all the work I'm gonna have to do to even get this fixture to work. If there are anyone who wants to make a mill, uh, you're way better off just buying one. <laughs> this will probably take a year of work, a year of planning, a couple thousand dollars in parts, and tools that I spent thousands on 20 years ago. Buying a pre-made mill is a bargain. Bye-bye.